When I'm looking at images and trying to sort of determine what image might become a painting, there really has to be some, some kind of uh, connection, some kind of interest. For the past few years, I've been looking at images of the first families and going to different presidential libraries and museums that are located across the country. I wouldn't have been making these paintings if I wasn't living here as a non-citizen and non-American. Being here for a number of years, but not being entirely um, part of the country or, or claiming sort of this history and this culture. Um, thinking about the news that we confront every day, the new headlines that come out every day, um, trying to understand that or come to terms with some of these bigger issues by looking back at the history a little bit. It's difficult to be entirely impartial, again, dealing with these political images. I do have my own um, political beliefs, um, and so moving beyond that and being a humanist and looking at these figures as people, it's been so interesting. There's sort of a, a continuing presence of these decades that I'm looking at. When I first started cutting up old paintings, it was really exciting, the idea of cutting up something that could have been finished and, and the freedom of that. The panel became more of an, an object that you could move around with. And that, that became sort of an opportunity. But it's definitely made the paintings more open in a way and let the figures become slightly more ambiguous, slow down the read, which is very important with the images that I'm using that are often so quick and we have an immediate reaction. With figurative painting, there's automatically that attraction, that, um, that way in for us when we look at eyes looking back at us or something that we recognize as ourselves or somebody that we know or a memory. Those, those moments become very strong quite quickly and I also don't want them to be entirely resolved. It really is more about opening, opening things up and keeping things somewhat ambiguous so that there is an entry point for a viewer.